testing, testing. Let's give God praise tonight. Y'all ready? Let's give God praise tonight. Amen. You got me loud, guys. Got me loud. It's so good to be in the house of the Lord tonight. I'm glad to be back with y'all. I'd rather be here than the best Southern Baptist convention in the world, y'all. I promise you. And so tonight, we're glad that you're here. Thanks for coming and being with us. I want to brag on everybody in just a minute. But before I do that, I want to welcome all the people that are watching online. God bless you. Just drop us a comment. Let us know uh, that you're watching wherever you're watching. We love it when you do that. And so, guys, make sure you do that. Let me also tell you that I'm so proud of all of you. Uh, by the way, before I tell you what I'm proud of you about, Dr. Ragsdale done a good job, didn't he, y'all, on Sunday and Wednesday night? And I really appreciate him. But I'm so proud of you all because a lot of times when the cat's away, the mouse will play. But not our church. You know why? Because you come to church, you support you're here, and I want to tell you, thank you for that. I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for being faithful to Jesus. You know, uh, that means a lot. So thank you so much for being faithful to Wednesday night, being faithful to Sunday morning, being faithful to Sunday night. And uh, guys, we're, I just want to tell y'all, we are a blessed church. Amen. Can I get an amen? And everybody here, when you pull up in the parking lot, we made you three things. So everybody here is a greeter. Uh, we want to make sure you know that. So Martin, they're a greeter. And also everybody here is a janitor. And everybody here is a witness for the Lord. And uh, you know what greeters do, right? They greet. You know what janitors do, right? They leave it better than they found it, and everybody is a witness for the Lord. We want to encourage you to do that. Hey, by the way, have I ever told you all how to grow a life discovery? If we grow a life discovery, I promise you Rachel will be a happy lady, right? So how do you grow a life discovery, everybody? You do something. What do you do? You pray. You invite somebody. You show up yourself, and you are friendly. And guys, I believe that'll work anywhere in the world. I hope you'll do that. I hope you'll pray. You'll invite people. You'll show up yourself, and you will be friendly. Guys, I really encourage you uh, to try to grow your classes. I really want you to do that, and I hope that you will take opportunity uh, to do all that you can do to grow your life discovery class. Also, we want to remind you that no matter where you are in the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you can pick up that phone and you can call or text that prayer line number. Y'all help me tell everybody what it is. What is it? 659-777-PRAY. And if you're watching online right now and you've got a prayer request, we really encourage you to call that number or text that number, and we encourage you to let us partner with you in prayer. Each one, reach one. Everybody say it with me. What is it? Each one, reach one. We've got a training lunch this coming Sunday uh, at 12 o'clock in the fellowship hall right here. And if you want to learn how to disciple somebody, I believe, as a matter of fact, I was talking to a guy from uh, Montana today, and he had lunch with me, and he said, Brother Jack, what do y'all do here as far as discipleship? I said, well, uh, we do a lot. Of, we try to do a lot. Uh, but one of the things we do is each one reach one. Now, y'all listen to me. If you've ever wanted to be a person that could mentor somebody and disciple them, uh, we would love for you to come to that lunch on Sunday because you're going to learn how to do that. We have what I would consider to be one of the best tools you could ever get uh, in order to disciple somebody. So, guys, uh, if you've never enrolled in each one reach one to mentor somebody, We'd love for you to come to that lunch. So a lot of y'all are new here today, and a lot of you have never been involved in that. But, man, we want you involved in it. And we, listen, are you listening? Say amen. We need more mentors. So, guys, we would love for you to come and help us with that. Just, listen, you don't have to sign up. Just come to the training. Uh, we'd love for you to come and just hear what it's all about. By the way, it's going to be lunch anyway, right? So y'all come and be with us. Hands and Embrace, this coming Friday, June the 28th, 10 a.m. in the Fellowship Hall. You don't want to miss that. And then the men's breakfast. Do y'all see that yellow card on your, on your table? Everybody. Uh, that's the men's breakfast. It's $5 for the guys to come. And men, I'm going to tell you, 
of all the men's events that we have, of everyone that we have, I love this one the most. I really do. I love the men coming together, having breakfast. We're going to do that on June the 29th. It'll be 8 a.m. in the fellowship hall, and we want all of our men to come and be here for the breakfast. Man, I love it. It's great fellowship. Uh, you Listen, you, lo you love breakfast, don't you? I, I do. And I want you to come and be with us. So guys, y'all come, bring somebody with you, and get them plugged in. Another thing I want to mention tonight is our team that is in Honduras right now. Uh, they're representing us on the mission field. And uh, I just praise God for them, right? And so let's just take a minute before we dive in tonight. Let's take a minute to pray for those that are representing us on the mission field in Honduras. So let's bow together and let's pray for them. And if you're online, you can pray for them as well. Oh God, tonight we thank you, Lord, for the blessing of men and women that are willing to give part of their life to go to the, to the mission field, Lord, uh, to share the gospel of the Lord Jesus with the nation's Father. And I thank you, Lord, here at our church that we're serious about that, that, God, we want to be that great witness for you. Uh, we want to be great commission believers. And, Father, I pray now in the name of Jesus that you will bless our team uh, that is there in Honduras. I pray, Lord, that as they minister, <clears throat> that, God, you would bring much fruit into the labor of their work. And, oh, Lord, that you'll be glorified in and through it. So, Lord, tonight we pray that you would protect them, watch over them, keep them safe, and we'll give you all the praise and all the glory for what you're going to do in Jesus' name. And all of God's people said, Amen. Amen. I believe that. I believe in the mission work of the church, y'all. I just do. I believe that every church ought to be involved in mission work around the world. And our church is such a blessed church that we have a great leader uh, that leads us with that. And that's our mission pastor, Brother Scotty. And uh, y'all be praying for the mission team as they're on the field. And maybe, just maybe, uh, you'll be the next one that will go and be involved in the uh, international mission work uh, that we have going on in a lot of different uh, avenues and a lot of places. So y'all be praying about that. I know that God can use you, and I pray that the Lord will guide us and direct us in it. Well, tonight it's good to be in Bible study again. Amen. And I'm so glad that you came tonight to be with us. And if you're visiting with us, uh, we want to extend to you just a welcome. I pray that uh, you'll feel right at home. We are in the book of Revelation. And I want you to know that we've been in the book of Revelation for quite some time. But if you're new and you're tuning in online or you're new in the Bible study tonight, don't worry about it <clears throat> because uh, you'll get caught up real soon. And we're just going to keep on studying together. And uh, we're, you know, we took chapter 1, verse 1, and we've, we've worked all the way through it. And we'll be diving in tonight in the Bible study of the book of Revelation. Do you love the Word of God? Can I get an amen? amen. God is so good. Now let's pray uh, to enter into the presence of the Lord in the Bible study of the book of Revelation. Oh, God, tonight, we thank you, Lord, tonight that we have the great privilege of opening the greatest word that has ever been given to this world, and that is the Word of God. And we know, Lord, that the Word of God will never return void. We know, Lord, that it will accomplish that which you set it out to accomplish. We know that the Word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit of the joints of the Mara, and is a discerner of the thoughts of the intent of our heart. Oh, God, tonight I thank you for men and women that have made a deliberate decision to be in the house of God tonight to study, to show themselves approved, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And, oh, God, tonight would you allow your servant uh, to teach the word, God, not for a big name or reputation my own, but, God, that Jesus Christ will be glorified in all that's said and done. And, Father, we'll give you all the praise and all the glory and Holy Spirit would you go to work as our teacher now? Would you open our minds and our hearts to receive the eternal word of God? And so, God, we ask that you would bless us now as we open the word of God in Jesus' name. And all of God's people said, Amen. Amen. Welcome to our Bible study in the book of Revelation. Take your Bible, if you would, and open it up to Revelation chapter 16. 
uh, chapter 16 tonight, and we're going to be diving in there in just a moment. We have understood that God operates in the realm of completion. How many of you know that our God lacks nothing? He is perfect in all of his ways, and God operates, watch this, write it down, God operates in the realm of completion. That is, uh, God works in our life in the realm of completion. God makes us whole. God wants to manifest himself in us in the realm of completion. But we know that God does that, so therefore, we understand as we've studied the word of God that man operates in the realm of incompletion. 